Hi everybody, it's Devin here at Predatory Plants. Doing kind of a species spotlight here, but sort of a clone spotlight really. On uh, this plant, this is uh, Nepenthes aleta variegated. This is probably the most well-known and widely spread uh, variegated Nepenthes uh, clone. Um, a lot more variegated clones have cropped up in the last couple years, but uh, they're not super widely dispersed. This one we've sold quite a lot of, and so I'm going to look over it today. Uh, people have argued that oh, this isn't really a Leda, it's Ventrata. I would argue that Ventrata isn't a clearly defined thing. It's sort of a, a catch-all term for what people believe to be a bat-crossed hybrid that's common in horticulture from... Uh, from Derus and others. Um, doesn't really matter. Uh, this is uh, a really nice plant that, that vines quite a bit and um, unlike a lot of the variegated Nepenthes, uh, the variegation uh, goes on to the pitchers as well. So you get these incredible creamy uh, pitchers with sort of like green streaks on them. And one thing that this plant has that I haven't seen in almost any other ones uh, any other variegates is it gets this red color on the pitchers along with the white variegation and, and the, the sort of normal green color. Um, we tend to see more red color on, uh, first of all, basil uh, uh, pitchers. So if you can see on this plant here, uh, this is a fairly fairly compact basil still, and so like a lot of basils, the red color uh, the, or the, the the lower pitchers are are more basil. Or excuse me, are more red. Um, but also we get more of the red color in the winter time. This plant seems to really enjoy cooler temperatures. When we, uh, when we first got it, um, there was a lot of chatter about this is like a weak clone and it doesn't grow very well and it's, uh, it's very fussy and all that. Um, but, but a lot of the people who were growing it at that time were growing it pretty warm, like in, in lowland or semi-lowland conditions. And we brought it into our highland room and it did just way better. It grows like crazy for us. I mean, as you can see, this is not a large plant. I mean, it's a, you know, it's a good sized plant. Um, the right here, we just got one, two, three, four, five, six open pitchers on it. That's great. Like that's, that's like a ventricosa. That's, that's, that's a very robust, vigorous plant. Um, and I think it, it really likes the highland conditions. One thing about this plant is it does tend to vine quite a bit. Now that's good in terms of propagation because you can get a lot of cuttings off of a vine. Uh, this one we actually, we took a number of cuttings recently and, and uh, as you can see there was, a, there was a secondary vine right there that we cut. But, uh, but this one's already, you know, five feet tall almost right here, this, uh, this vine here. So, so luckily we should be able to keep vining uh, and uh, taking cuttings off of this. But that's the thing to keep in mind if you, if you get a hold of this clone. We usually sell these on eBay, but sometimes on the specimen and cutting sections on our website, so you can check out there. Uh, we should have a new crop of these coming up in the next couple months, because like I said, we did a bunch of cuttings. Uh, it's a really nice plant. It's, it's, it's worth getting. It's kind of like the next, uh, the next level, right, for a, for a Nepenthes collector. If you want something still pretty unique, that's got this uh, variegated color, um, and, and this, this really incredible uh, uh, pitcher morphology that... Um, that you just don't see in, in any other clone, this, uh, this coloration. Um, it's a really nice plant, the Nepenthes aleta, the variegated form. And uh, let us know if you've got any questions about this. Uh, we're happy to talk about it. You can see we've got a lot of it. It's one of our favorite plants in the greenhouse. Um, but uh, thanks for watching the Species Spotlight. And uh, remember to like and subscribe to see more videos about uh, all of our stuff.